systems to explore and we should go different stars that have their own planets and their own solar systems would you like to go with me and see if we can meet some i'm toi 1338 and i was a surprising discovery i was found by a teenage intern named wolf suki earth that just started work at nasa recently Orbit both stars in my solar system, they are binary. So I experience stellar eclipses very regularly. If you are a Star Trek fan, then you will definitely be a fan of me. Unofficially known as Vulcan, I was discovered where Star Trek predicted Vulcan to be. I orbit an orange star in a triple star system named 40 Eridani A. Only about 16 light years from Earth, I'm 40 Eridani AB. Come visit me someday. Let's go meet an exoplanet. They orbit other stars. Some are very similar, some very different from ours. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Let's go find some exoplanets and see if we can meet them. My name is C-O-R-O-T-7-B, and I'm bad to the bone. I've been mistaken for the underworld, so you definitely wouldn't want to call me home. I'm close to my star when orbit only takes 20 hours. My surface is covered in volcanoes and lava, not flowers. The sky literally falls on me as I rain down rocks, you see. A real nightmare it would be if you lived on me. P-S-R-J-1719-1438-B! I have a really long name, but that's not all that's special about me. I orbit an actual millisecond pulsar, a super fast spinning neutron star. And I'm so incredibly dense, I'm probably made of crystalline carbon, the giant diamond. How bizarre. I'm darker than night. I absorb the light. I'm T-R-E-S-2-B. I'm a gas giant planet a little bigger than Jupiter, but I'm definitely not Jolly. Darker than coal with an eerie red glow, I can be a little bit scary. Consumed by heat and darkness, you'll never know the secrets that I carry. Let's go meet an exoplanet, they orbit other stars. Some are very similar, some very different from ours. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Let's go find some exoplanets and see if we can meet them. A glamorous exoplanet! I'm GJ504B! What can I say? I love pink! It's the color that looks best on me! I'm an extremely hot gas giant planet and four times more massive than Jupiter! My incredibly intense heat causes me to glow pink! Or magenta, if you prefer. I'm under so much pressure and high temperatures. I'm 55 Cancri E. Beneath my molten lava surface could be a precious diamond because I have such high density. I also have lots of silicates in my atmosphere reflecting light making my sky sparkly. And through my sparkly sky you would see my sibling planet Galileo watching over me. Let's go meet an exoplanet. They orbit other stars. Some are very similar, some very different from ours. Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination. Let's go find some exoplanets and see if we can meet them. They call me Osiris, HD 209458B. I'm an evaporating gas giant. Soon just a core is all that will be left of me. My atmosphere has hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen that are all evaporating away. Orbiting close to a yellow star like your sun, my hydrogen tail creates quite a display. Beautiful Azure Blue, HD 189733B. But don't let my appearance fool you. There is nothing calm about me. My atmosphere is filled with particles of glass. My wind speeds are extremely fast. Blowing faster than the speed of sound, I have storms of sideways raining glass swirling all around. I'm Kepler 
5B, a gas giant that is very special, you see. Because I may have an exomoon orbiting around me. We could be a binary planet, too. But our size ratio is much like Earth and your moon. My companion's exomoon status is still waiting to be confirmed. We hope it will be soon. Now you've met some exoplanets, they orbit other stars In their very own solar systems far outside of ours Strange and mystical worlds with wonders beyond imagination Keep looking at the stars and maybe you'll discover one